Okay, in this video we're going to be uh, doing the oxidase test and we are going to be using uh, by Hardy Diagnostics their oxydrop reagent. Um, the oxidase test is mainly used for uh, separating members of Enterobacteriaceae from uh, mem uh, non Enterobacteriaceae, mainly Pseudomonas. These are our uh, gram negative rods. Uh, it's also routinely, routinely used in the workup for Neisseria and Moraxella species. Okay, so um, to run this test, it's pretty simple, it's a rapid test. We're just uh, going to take a piece of filter paper and put it on a, just a regular slide, nothing special about it, and I just cut that filter paper up. And I'm going to go ahead and just take one drop of reagent and drop it on there. All right, now the uh, organisms that we're going to use, uh, I'm going to use, really you could use any member of uh, uh, Enterobacteriaceae. I'm going to use Klebsiella pneumoniae. For my negative control, my positive control is going to be uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, which is not a member of Enterobacteriaceae. Now, the re manufacturer recommends that these colonies be around 18 to 24 years, 18 to 24 hours old, and that you're not taking them off selective differential plates, because especially differential plates, because uh, when you're working with gram-negative rods, the differential plates oftentimes rely on lactose fermentation or not, and the result is a change in the color, and this oxidase test, the positive reaction is based on a color change, so it's probably not a com good combination to be taking colonies off a plate that are already not you know, are already some kind of color and then putting them on, you know, in the test and then, you know, trying to interpret the color change. So anyway, let's go on here and I will start with um, my Klebsiella. Now, when I, once I get this on there, once I smear it on, I'm just using a stick and uh, I'm going to smear a bunch on here. And um, you have to read it within 20 seconds. Now, if you have a positive reaction, usually it's going to be within the first 10 to 20 seconds. But it is important uh, that you make your decision at um, 20 seconds and not over. Okay, I got about five seconds left here. I can see it's, you know, kind of getting a little, there's a little color change. But that's not a positive, and I think once you go ahead and you see the true positive, which I will do now, the uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, you'll see what a true positive looks like. Okay, so that, even within the first five seconds, is, you know, turning up positive. And now on the top, the Klebsiella, you can see how as I let it sit longer on there, it, it does eventually turn blue, and so that's why it's important to make the decision about whether it's positive or negative, you know, within that 20-second time frame. 